A laptop keyboard is unresponsive, but an external USB keyboard works. What should the technician check first? Laptop's keyboard ribbon cable, BIOS firmware, Wi-Fi drivers, CMOS battery, or monitor refresh rate. And here the correct answer is that they should check laptop's keyboard ribbon cable, as a disconnected or, dam or damaged ribbon cable prevents the built-in keyboard from functioning properly. A user reports that their external monitor randomly lo loses signal when connected via HDMI. What is the most likely cause? Monitor driver issue, weak Wi-Fi signal, faulty power supply, loose cable connection, or incorrect subnet mask. And here the correct answer is loose cable connection, as a loose HDMI cable can cause intermittent display disconnections. Checking and securing the cable resolves the issue. A technician installs additional RAM in a laptop, but the system still shows the original memory amount. What should they do next? Replace the hard drive, change the BIOS password, reseed the RAM modules, reinstall, reinstall the operating system, or disable the secure boot. And here the correct answer is reseed the RAM modules as improperly seated RAM may not be detected by the system. Removing and reinserting it ensures proper installation. A user wants to print from their smartphone without connecting cables. Which technology should be used? NFC, Parallel, Ethernet, USB or SATA? And here the correct answer is NFC or Near Field Communication. As NFC, Near Field Communication allows wireless printing by enabling a smartphone to communicate with an NFC enabled printer. A technician needs to replace a failed power supply in a desktop PC. What specification should they verify first? Wattage rating, USB compatibility, CPU socket type, BIOS version, or actually here is another BIOS version, there is some mistake in this. However, these are not the correct answers, so correct answer here would be wattage rating, as ensuring the power supply meets or exceeds the wattage requirements of the system prevents power issues. A user needs to transfer large video files quickly between two external drives. Which port should be used for the fastest data transfer? USB 2.0, USB 3.2 Gen 2, Ethernet, Thunderbolt 3 or SATA 3. And here you should know that this is Thunderbolt 3, as the Thunderbolt 3 supports transfer speeds up to 40 gigabits per second, making it ideal for high speed file transfers. A user reports that their laptop's built-in microphone stopped working after a recent update. What is the best troubleshooting step? Disable antivirus software, check the microphone volume settings, replace the microphone, perform a BIOS reset, or reinstall the microphone driver. And here the correct answer is reinstall the microphone driver, as software updates can cause driver conflicts, so reinstalling the driver can restore functionality. A technician installs a new PCIe NVMe SSD, but the system does not detect it in BIOS. What should they check first? RAID configuration, PCIe power connectors, M2 M.2 slot compatibility, firmware version, or disk partitioning. 
and here the correct answer is m.2 slot compatibility as not all m.2 slots support nvme ssds some are designed for sata based drives checking compatibility ensures proper functionality and next question a user complains that their laptop battery drains quickly and the device overheats what is the most likely cause malware infection incorrect bios settings overuse of hibernation mode failing ssd or damaged ram and here the correct answer is malware infection as malware can run background process that consumes cpu and battery leading to overheating and rapid power drain a technician is troubleshooting a laptop that frequently disconnects from the Wi-Fi. The user reports the issue occurs only when moving between rooms. What is the most likely cause? Interference from other devices. Weak, weak signal strengths. Incorrect IP address. DNS misconfiguration. Or faulty Ethernet adapter. And here the correct answer is weak signal strength as moving between rooms can cause a signal degradation due to obstacles like walls reducing connectivity strengths.